So then I applied the topical cream and it just went away. That's good. That's it's good news. It's very good news. Well, well we didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what we're doing is we're gonna do like a, a a short video on E3 and some of the trailers that we thought looked interesting. And just like other news i guess yeah at so, at some point because some of these are like 10 minutes long and yeah i i know i will not have 10 minutes of stuff to talk about some of, these <laughs> yeah. games, so. some of it we can just watch and enjoy yeah. i suppose um in bigger news uh i am back in the country i went to new wait, york wait. got the fist out there okay i went to new york and that's why there was a lull in uploading because i was in the americas I was singing at Carnegie Hall with my local community choir, which was a great experience, but I'm back in Canada and happy to be back. Happy to be hanging out with Zach, because I, I know he missed me, but I didn't miss him. Very much. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start it off with the first one. This is Days Gone. Yes. So hang on. Also worth knowing, we flipped the videos yeah. to the mirror, we're... because we don't know shit about trademark stuff. Yeah. And but. we're not sure if, 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 I guess you could call it a react. Should we call it, if we call it a react video, then it won't be under the. Yeah. I don't know. I just... <laughs> Let's just go for it. Yeah. It's going to be backwards, but hopefully the audio is working. Yeah. Well. <laughs> the first thing I noticed yeah. about this game is that it, it just looks like the last of us with bikers yeah i the the first joke i think i heard from anybody watching this trailer was like oh sweet it's the ride to hell retribution sequel <laughs> yes. fuck yeah just what everyone's been uh, waiting for we've just been itching for that yeah. ride to hell retribution sequel but yeah i don't know it it looks it looks nice it's very pretty looking yeah but correct me if I'm wrong, but they didn't show zombies and shit in the trailer at the start of Not, the conference. No, no. This well, I don't I don't know how the conference worked or when it took place. When did it actually take place? Uh, was it, was it last on, week? Yeah, it was Monday night. Okay, it was just the one night. I thought it was like all week long, but well, I mean the, the just the Sony press conference. Uh, ah, yeah. okay, all right, I get it. Because I can't remember I if now. like in the actual or like the cinematic trailer they showed at the start. Because they showed it early on, and then they ended it with this gameplay trailer. Mm -hmm. um, or gameplay demo, I guess. Yeah. But I don't recall them showing any zombie shit whatsoever in that like initial cinematic. Yeah. So I was kind of like, cool, it's post-apocalyptic, but it's all about surviving, and we don't have to worry about fucking zombies. Yeah. And then it's like... Look at all oh, these fucking zombies. <laughs> Look at the zombies. It's just They're like, everywhere. I mean... Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. It's, it's, it's just whatever. I, I'm, I'm gonna withhold judgment until I play it. Yeah. Like, full judgment. Oh, Zombie baby? Yes. Um, yeah. I was talking about this earlier with Zach, and I was saying that... The game really looks to me like a Last of Us kind of clone, but it's a zombie game, and I feel like zombie games have really oversaturated the market, and there's just fucking zombie games everywhere. It is a zombie baby. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, Max. It's smelly. <laughs> Where is he? I don't even know. It's just the smells. Yeah. He's just floated our yeah. way. Fucking stinky ass dog. Um, yeah, I, the first time I watched this, I really felt like it looks great. The engine is really nice. Of course, it's a gameplay trailer, so they probably did some touching up of some kind, mm -hmm. maybe, because you, you don't actually see a guy playing the game. I don't know if it took place during E3, there's a guy sitting there actually playing. I thought there was a guy. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting confused with the God of War. Yeah, there was a guy playing that. Playing yeah. that. Um... um Go ahead. You can say something, or yeah, we, I don't know. We both said um at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. I I I I think it's. I think in a way, 
to some extent, it feels like they're gonna try to outdo like Dead Rising. Yeah. In the like, cause this, like. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Just the amount of zombies on yeah. screen at any given time. And like, given it's gonna be a lot of smoke and mirrors, like how many of those are actually gonna be like physical? Yeah. You know, uh, fucking yeah things th- like actual like, models. Yeah, interactable. Yeah. Like I think that looks really neat how they're just kind of pouring out. Yeah. But. I was saying this earlier as well, too. It looks really slow. I don't know. There's something about the game that, to me, it just looks like it's slow. Like, he's not running very fast. He's kind of at, like, a light jog. And all the zombies are catching up to him, like, really fucking fast. Well, maybe he's needs to eat something. Yeah. He needs to get a sandwich in this guy. But, I don't know. It could, it could be cool. Yeah. I, I'm really hoping it, it does something cool narratively. I think I think from the look of this, it's gonna like the the combat is gonna be like more fluid. I want to say than The Last of Us. Yeah. Because like with oh, Naughty Dog games, they're like, they're pretty stiff. Yeah. I their uh, their combat system is just bad. I don't. So I can, I can never get into it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just it's just a bad combat system. But yeah, you're right. It is very stiff. This looks like it's. It's moving. Yeah. There's a lot of motion involved in it. But, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say about yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's move on. along then. Um, uh, we got a couple choices here. What do you think? Um, well, I, let's save the obvious one for the end. Okay, and yeah. You, you know yeah, exactly. I'll just, I'll just push that to the end. No, the, the oh, did I spoiler. fuck it up? I don't think I did. <laughs> you, well, you know what? It's because this one we put in theater mode. Yeah, right. So the rest of them are in theater <laughs> mode. Fuck. Yeah. All right, well, let's just switch it up. What's we'll just... theater button? There. A-OK. We'll go with this one. All this right. one, actually, I saw the trailer for it today. Um, as I was say- saying earlier, I didn't watch any of E3. I didn't even know when it took place or what happened. Or I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'm super naive and blind to all this shit. And uh, this one, I was actually really excited about. Because I thought it looked really awesome. Mm-hmm. It, to me, looks like a fucking what a Transformers game should be. Yeah. Honestly, like, I don't know. Well. It looks fucking yeah. neat. Isn't that Optimus Prime? Maybe not. Mm, not quite. But it's, like... It's close. Fucking pretty. Yeah. Like, Gorilla Games, when they when they first did uh, uh, Killzone Shadowfall. Because mm-hmm. that's, like, as far as I know, that's, like, their... IP is like kill zone. Is it kill oh, okay, I didn't know Gorilla did. Yeah. Kill zone. Okay. And this so this is like their first non kill zone game. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure anyways. But I remember seeing stuff for Shadowfall, the first one that launched with the PS4. Mm-hmm. I remember it was just like, Man, this looks really good. And so like obviously that like finesse or however you want to put it for the visuals is carried over, but now it's like just you know, obviously it's not a first person game, it's Yeah. And, like, it's not a shooter mm-hmm. either. Well, well, I mean, you shoot, but it's not a shooter. Yeah. It's not, like, yeah. Yeah. It's... It's over-the-shoulder kind of shooting. Yeah. But it's far more, like, action RPG, from what I've seen anyways. Yeah. And, like, when they were showing the... This is... Okay. Um, the gameplay and stuff, I wasn't expecting, like, dialogue trees and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really cool choice. Yeah. That I wasn't anticipating. Yeah. I thought it, I thought it looked really... Uh, the combat looked decently intuitive, mm-hmm. where uh, I was saying this earlier as well, that now that people have really caught on to like how Dark Souls works, or the Souls series works, combat is really evolving in the way toward, it's leaning more towards the Dark Souls style, where it's kind of like, you're kind of changing weapons and moving and acting while the fight is going on, mm-hmm. and that was kind of what was happening, it would kind of go slow-mo, yeah, and then she would change weapons, and then yeah, that's fire. that's very reminiscent of Far Cry. I found. Oh, okay, um, like the the weapon wheel sort of deal thing mm-hmm. that they had going mm-hmm. on there. Yeah, um, and like the the map thing that they had too was remind me a lot of like a lot of the UI. I should say yeah. remind me of Far Cry, and okay. not like in a bad way either. Mm-hmm. It's just reminiscent of it. Yeah. yeah. Also, any game where you can use a bow as a weapon yeah I'm like yeah. shit yeah you're there except for maybe dark souls yeah i'm like yeah I know if you if you, can, if you can main a bow like yeah. i'm all about that like far cry 
Mm -hmm. Like, that's the way to go, is just, like, yeah, sniping people down in the grass <laughs> and stuff like that. So grenade good. launcher bow or whatever, like the fucking... Oh, yeah, like the All explosive right. tips and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I thought was fucking... I don't know, it looked awesome to me. This, um, maybe we should save it for a little later. We'll just skip yeah. to this one, and then... Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Nice. Whoa. You can tell we know what we're yeah, doing. <laughs> we know what we are doing. So let's go with this one. Okay. I haven't seen this, actually. You haven't seen this? No, I saw the okay. gameplay trailer. So, here's what I want to say about this. We, I was watching the... I was watching this on Skype with my buddy Darren, and I was just like, it said like before kitchen. I was like, what the fuck? What, what does that mean? That's yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. But it's like before kitchen. And it's like all this creepy shit. And I'm like, yeah, it seems so like obtuse. Yeah, and it's like it's, it, you know, obviously there's like the PT vibes that you got from the trailer. Yeah, big or, time. From the, I guess it was a demo. Big time. Like there's. Like, I don't know if it was, like, an actual demo. I was watching Pro Jared's video mm -hmm. talking about the conference, mm -hmm. and he said that, like, I haven't done VR, like, at all. No. And he said that there was some, like, movement that seems like it's akin to someone actually, like, moving their head around. It's not, like, perfectly one-to-one -one in the way that VR is Should kind of, be, like, yeah. almost there, you know? Yeah. And so, like, that's why I kind of thought maybe it could be, you know, a actual demo of it, but we'll see but um yeah i was just sitting there i was like what the fuck is this weird creepy shit yeah and then like when the seven popped up i was like Ooh. seven and then the resident evil yeah I was, yeah that was kind of neat i actually screamed like holy shit yeah oh my god and it's like <laughs> my experiences with resident evil is literally the remake of one yeah and two on n64 yeah so it's not like i'm a super diehard or anything yeah. i like the series yeah over, like overall yeah but it was i was not expecting this at all yeah because it's so like a hundred like, it's so different yeah compared like, to aesthetically what? tonally yeah like yeah. across the board because like it's it's a first person game yeah like, i don't know if i'm digging that i you know what i'm i'm okay with that yeah. i'm willing to give it a shot because i it's it's just they're going back to survival horror mm -hmm. you know yeah and like really survival horror as like you know you're not yeah. some beefy dude yeah i'm on fucking yeah. stars i yeah. got guns blah blah master yeah. of unlocking yeah it's Jeez. yeah i don't know i think i think it's a nice turn and maybe in the right direction i don't know very pt-esque yeah but I don't know how I feel about. Oh, there's still a little bit more at the end there. I don't know how I feel about the first person thing. Uh, the whole uh, VR thing either. Like I, I don't think I'll ever. Yeah. Okay. So it's just pre-order shit. But yeah. I don't think I'll ever get into the whole VR thing. That's just not my yeah. gig. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with it because it's once again like resident evil changing up camera stuff because one two yeah, three yeah. is all fixed yeah yeah um, and I, I, everything else is over the shoulder and now it's like hey here's yeah you know every three they change it up or yeah. something like that uh, but no like i i'm all for it because just like i think it's gonna be it to me it looks like it's gonna be fucking awesome yeah just but. just that it's going back to horror you yeah. know because yeah. like i mean four was horror but it was also action yeah Five was more action more than action horror. More action than anything, And yeah. six was... We won't talk about that. Yeah. But... You no, know, I didn't... <laughs> Maybe I'm in the wrong boat, but I didn't mind six. Maybe it's because I only played Leon's campaign. Maybe. I, I was watching um, Austin um, from Arcadia. Mm -hmm. uh, he was streaming six. Mm -hmm. Like, the end of six, Jake's campaign. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, hey, what the fuck, yeah. man? It was like you're fighting some giant fucking dude in like a fucking yeah. molten lava reactor yeah thing. it's just like yeah it doesn't this is not like my spooky shit that yeah. i knew from before it's just yeah it's just it took a weird turn for a while there like four was kind of like it was it's 
probably other than two or well, other than one and two it's probably the high, most highly acclaimed it's probably yeah. the most widely respected as a a yeah. game changer yeah well <laughs> like, they, exactly That's... like people people took what resident evil 4 did and ran with it they really built upon the the pedestal that it it yeah. set forth right definitely but i think i've played all of them except for five i played maybe the first 15 minutes of five and just mm-hmm. like yeah I, I turned it off i was like i i'm glad i bought this as the greatest hits for like ten dollars but i think the change was really nice because as soon as you got four it was like fuck this is awesome it was spooky but it was more there was more a lot more action in it yeah but it still had those elements and there was still like lots of puzzles and shit like that yeah but and i think it's kind of like that was the change that needed to happen at the time yeah you know yeah and i think that's the same thing with this it's just like Mm -hmm. we're delving too far into this one sort of you know yeah thing i guess and i mean yeah they dug themselves a hole for sure yeah so start it's like starting fresh once again yeah yeah so now eight and nine are gonna be garbage but we're gonna remember seven (laughs) Seven, as the one that's gonna be you know the game changer i'm so you know what it shocks (laughs) me that we're actually at seven like it doesn't doesn't really feel like it no it doesn't because i don't know i think maybe the other ones were so forgettable that it just doesn't feel like there's been seven games there's also like the spin-off ones. There's Code a lot Veronica. of spin-off ones. There's Code Veronica, there's Resident Evil 0. Yeah. There's uh, Operation Raccoon City, which a lot of people didn't like. I haven't ver- played very much of it. I really should. Maybe we, one of these days we should <laughs> we play can... it for a little while if yeah. we can stand it for long enough. I think it'd be a lot like of people... a one-shot yeah. type deal. Yeah. A but... lot of people say that it's really bad, but I don't know. The first, I don't know. I maybe played the first. I played for like an hour and I don't know. I Maybe that was all you needed to play. Yeah, right? maybe. I wasn't, like, completely disappointed because I got it on sale again. Yeah. So, I don't know. Oh, no, you know what? It was free. It was one of the months. Oh, was it? It was on Xbox Live for oh, free. okay. Or was a... F- I'm pretty sure it was free. And I, Aren't they... Yeah. Isn't there supposed to be a new, like, Resident Evil... Yeah, yeah. ...shooty game? Yeah, but it's not about the zombies and shit. It's, like, about the Operation Raccoon City dudes and you, like, play as the uh, operatives okay. and, like, yeah fight one another i can't remember what the fuck is called but it's like a call of duty style okay i just don't think the japanese everybody play hunk yeah yeah. i just don't think the japanese developers really have a grasp on first person shooters they don't really understand like the whole cooperative like first person shooter thing yeah that's that's i don't know that seems to be more of a western thing big time Uh, yeah i don't know i think they're trying something new but i don't i don't think they fully grasp what it's all about because they, they had things like uh, I'm trying to think of like Resident a, Evil Outbreak. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like a Japanese shooter. Like you, know? you can think of like the top down shooters, like that's Yeah, yeah, that's the shmups. Yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah. But like in terms of like FPS. Yeah, I, really I can't think, think of, I can't think of any. It's, it's very much like a like a western It is, really. developed thing, I guess. Yeah. But cuz I just think like id and I think, like, uh, fucking whoever at EA makes Battlefield. Oh, DICE. DICE. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, like, uh, the dream group whatever for um, Call of Duty. Mm. Like, Infinity Ward, Treyarch. Oh, okay. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The other one, yeah. the new one that I can't fucking remember. Because yeah. I don't play those games at all. I haven't played one of those games since <laughs> Black Ops. How long ago was that? That like would five, have been six years ago. Two thousand ten. Yeah, I think. so six years ago. Yeah, that was the last one that I played. Well, let's fire this up because we right. got a lot of black screen going on. Yeah, that's all right. Let's, let's spice things up a little bit. Ooh, ooh. I'm trying to. I was trying to read try, backwards. Yeah, and, yeah. But didn't work out well. So this game. Yeah, I. I turn it up a little bit. I'm. Uh, I'm excited. For a number of reasons. First of all, more God of War. Yeah. I'm down for that. Like, I, I've i only played one and two, but man, did I enjoy my time with those games. I've never played a God of War game. I saw my buddies were really big into it, and I watched them play the first, I don't know, it was actually quite a ways through the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was on the first one, and it really was, to me, I thought it was reminiscent of, like, Devil May Cry. 
Yeah, I can see something that. like like a hack and slash RPG Man. elements. I remember. Sorry, no, sorry to cut ahead. you off. No, that's fine. Go ahead. When he stepped out of the shadows, yeah, holy fuck! Did people just <laughs> oh yeah lose their mind? Yeah, it was yeah. like yeah, you could hear them just screaming in yeah. the crowd. And he's just like, he has a fucking beard now. Yeah, he looks so much better with a beard instead of that weird fucking little patchy thing. Yeah. But, uh, no, I'm excited. Because I love the first two. I had such a good time with them. Because they're just like, you know, good time hack and slash. There's puzzles. And I like the whole Greek aesthetic thing. Yeah. Because Greek mythology, I think, is yeah, super cool. Yeah. It's interesting. And I heard, you know, rumblings and rumors that it was they're gonna go there was something going on Norse yeah. mythology for the next one. Yeah. And I was like, that'd be cool. Yeah. And then like they start this and like shit, yeah, they're going for it. Yeah. But it's like this looks nothing like God of War. No. But I that's not gonna deter me from playing it. Yeah. I like that they changed it up because it it I guess it it's gonna make the combat more personal. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because, like, in the other ones, it's like you walk into a room and it's like, hey, we're going to block this off. You got yeah. a big arena to fight through. And then you're yeah. just like, shit, yeah. Blaze of Chaos, blah, 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 blah. And fight stuff. Now it's like, hey, I got this fucking hand axe that just yeah. throw people and shit. And it's like, you know, you're, you're, because of the perspective change, you're kind of more focused on, like, one enemy at a time yeah more so than like hey i'm gonna mow through like yeah, everyone and just, dinosaur just hack and style. slash yeah except not like dinosaurs yeah but, um but yeah it that change it just like i want to i'm interested to see how they're gonna like when shit starts getting more crazy than what they show here yeah you know yeah i think um there's kind of this thing that's happening with video games and they've all the trailers to me seem like they're kind of taking the same route and they're becoming like these giant open world games that you know this the regular story campaign is maybe like 20 30 hours like mm -hmm. and it's just, they're just massive in scope right the games and they they all kind of have this reminiscent i don't know ever since the witcher 3 came out i feel like all the fantasy games and all the things like that are just really going in that direction yeah and i feel like all of them are doing the same thing yeah, I they, think they said that this is gonna be almost open world. Almost, okay. Not not quite this fully. Is still open a little world. bit linear, but yeah, yeah. Um, but another thing I like, the kid. You level up the kid. Yeah. And he acts as kind of like a familiar, I guess. That's kind of neat. And there's like a button dedicated just to like make the kid, make kid like do, something. do contextual actions yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Cause like you saw like. I don't. I think it's later on in the trailer that you just like telling the kid to aim at the deer with yeah. the bow, and it's just like, oh, archery skill up fifty percent or, or fifty points or something like that. Yeah. So I think it's it's cool that like there's that element to it, that like the kid is just some like, you know. And he just doesn't get in the way. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like he's gonna have some value, and I mean that could go one of two ways. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, agree. I remain hopeful. Yeah. So well, um, I was saying this earlier, but the the combat really reminds me of Dark Souls. Like he does this dodge roll here, just to get out of the way of the attack, and I was like, well, yeah. that's that's a Dark Souls thing. Yeah. Like, well, Dark that was Souls dodge that was, roll or whatever. But that was also in like the the other God of War games. Yeah. But it's also like, yeah, but the, I feel like the other God of War games was kind of it wasn't like top down hack and slash, but the camera yeah. was kind of fixed. It was it, yeah, it was fixed camera angles, but at, and at yeah. the same time. Like you can dodge roll and shit like that, but you're also your weapon was had way more range. Mm. So like it wasn't as you know, you could like swing and shit and like you might unless they're like really up close, yeah. That's kinda like the times you want to dodge roll and stuff. This one you have to get right up in his fucking schnoz. Yeah. To hit him with the axe and stuff. And like he throws it and stuff too, but it's like I'm sure there's upgrades and shit like that too. Yeah, there ought to be, but I saw a picture where it was like that screen cap. He's like, yeah. ah, and it's like, I hate my son. <laughs> but, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But they, um, oh, another thing that was, I found interesting is that they want to present, present this game as one single take one shot. 
the whole way through. Because really? the other ones was very it was cinematic. Cuts, yeah. There's cuts, there's flashbacks, and all sorts of stuff. But they're like this one, yeah. It's, it's one. It's really, just one, one camera shot. angle. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I, I think that's cool. Yeah. So. That's a neat concept. And I, I don't know if they, they're ditching quick time events in this which it wasn't like a super big thing in the yeah. first two yeah it's i don't know but it like it was a part of it yeah, was a it's... part of the battle so you did all this hack and slashy stuff and then you like, yeah it's all context sensitive buttons. yeah so like yeah. that remains to be seen but yeah, yeah i am don't know what else to really say it looks very 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 pretty yeah um yeah sony santa monica did a top yeah game, job. games are just looking better and better and i mean I think there's going to be a point... Well, there's kind of... Oh, well, you see that big dragon just fly by on the top there? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Uh, um, just but wait, I think there's going to... later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've seen like that uh, ending. Yeah. But, um, yeah. There's there's a point where the games are just going to... They, they haven't really hit that peak yet. Because remember how, like, the beginning of the PlayStation 3 things weren't looking that great? And then, like, at the end cycle, yeah. PlayStation 3 it was like, holy fuck, these things yeah. are... You know, the games were, like, starting to look really fucking good. And that's what's happening now, too, is the games are starting to look better and better simply because they are knowing the limitations of the technology. Yeah. So with the new PlayStation and the new Xbox coming out as well, they're like the, you know, Xbox yeah. 1.5 and the PlayStation yeah. 4.5. Yeah. I can't. It's the X Project Scorpio. Project Scorpio. Yeah. It's. I don't know where, who in the fuck is getting their names or who's writing their names for them, but yeah. they're, they're getting worse. Um, well, um, what was it? There was some, I was reading about it, there was one system, mm -hmm. I think it was an Xbox system, mm -hmm. it was like codename Edmonton. Really? Yeah. Oh. It wasn't the Xbox one, because that was codenamed Durango. Oh, okay. It might have been the Slim. The, oh, Maybe yeah. Maybe it was like a, the, I have to look that up, but. I saw the trailer for it, it looked pretty, the Slim the trailer for yeah this time. it was like oh all right yeah i don't know is it cheaper i think so yeah oh, there's nice. no i from what i recall reading there's just, no connect port which i'm fine with i don't give really? a shit about yeah connect. yeah i don't really um that doesn't bother me any at all because yeah i don't really care about connect um but uh yeah it's two terabytes hard drive it's uh it can actually do 4k yeah um, yeah i saw that too a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. I don't know if it's on the whole, like, more technically beefed up than or, the, the yeah. original. Yeah. I or think it's, it's pretty thing. pretty comparable, except for, like, the, the hard drive and the mm -hmm. 4K. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Two terabyte hard drive. Yeah. But, Which is what everything should have done from the fucking yeah, start. Yeah, I agree. But. Yeah, I agree. Um, because, no. what is it, 500 gigs is the. Yeah. PlayStation Four, yeah. Yeah. And what's what's the uh, Xbox One was also five hundred. Was it okay? They they did roll out one terabyte versions later, much, much sooner and much more frequently than yeah the PlayStation did. As yeah. far as I know, the only PlayStation with one terabyte is that fucking ugly as sin Black Ops Three. Oh one. yeah, yeah. With like all the weird decals and shit on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not cool. Yeah. But uh, I don't know the one thing with. The Xbox One Slim was just kind of like, hey, they're announcing this new iteration of the Xbox One. That's raw cool. dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And a big red yeah, hole, too. Raw dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to go for the last one here. Okay. Um, Any last words for... God of War? Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, that's it. You know what? I, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you'll discuss it with me and tell yeah. me whether I should pick it up or not. A lot of these games that are coming out now um, also don't have a lot of references of the older games. Like apparently, you could just pick up The Witcher Three and play it. You didn't really have to yeah. worry. It would be better if you knew kind of the context, but you could apparently you yeah. could just pick it up and play I, it. I, was, I don't. I was asking some people about it. Um, give another shout out yeah. to this guy yeah. on YouTube. His name is Heavy Eyed. His mitch mm. i was talking to him about because i was saying i wanted to pick up witcher 2 on pc because i got the first one on pc and i was just like well i want to play all of them to get the story he's like just read the comic book i was like there's oh, a comic book yeah it's like, cool well yeah but at the same time i was like i paid a whole dollar fifty for the witcher <laughs> yeah. one on pc i want to get my money's it. worth yeah. yeah 
but yeah it's, it's too many games not enough time man. exactly speaking of which check out heavy eyed on youtube good all right guy. well, well maybe we'll put a link in the yeah description box good stuff good guy right on but uh, i never checked out his channel but i will he's very good stuff good yeah i think right you'll on. like it but uh what was next oh yeah yeah um oh there's like subtitles at the bottom why Oh, you know what? I probably turned them on. Did I? No, I think it's I think it's channel. No, channel is just no, because it's not actually because it says it's PlayStation, but only but it's has, not actually. Yeah, it's not actually PlayStation. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. It's like. Yeah. I think we might get flagged for this song, so we probably just have to keep it at a minimum. But. Yeah. Um. Or should we just turn it right off? Yeah, we can just, just turn, turn it right off. off. Yeah, we don't really need the actual volume because they don't say anything. Yeah. Um. So, so, the entrance of this man coming into this conference was yeah. so fucking cool. You know what? Like, the hey, funny... here he is. Yeah, and he fucking just... Fucking walks down. It lights up in front yeah. of him as he's going. And, but the thing is, just like, he got in front of it, and it was, like, lighting up behind him. Did you yeah. notice that? Yeah, like, like, right yeah. near the end, he just stormed through, yeah. and it was just like, yeah, whatever. He, I, I like that he was just like, everyone, shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, he just, and he was just like, I'm back. Like, I'm back. That was the first thing he said, yeah. Um, uh, as soon as, as soon as they fucking started this trailer, it was just like, I was thinking it to myself, I was like, I, I think he's gonna use Norman Reedus, and then fucking, I was yeah. like, there he is, and when we were talking about pt we were talking in pt i was like i really wonder if he's gonna use norman reedus and i was like i can't see him throwing out that model yeah well this is all new yeah this it's is- it but i mean at the same time i was like he's gonna use fucking norman reedus yeah. and there he is um but yeah i remember when they were like zooming up, i was like wow these crabs dead and shit and then yeah. it's like there's this naked guy i was like is that norman reedus and then he sits <laughs> up i was like is the marriage is the marriage back on yeah it and is. then like i was watching and like, cause the internet's so shite here. I yeah. was watching a mobile, so it's like just this pixelated fucking just mess of a face, garbled mess. So I was yeah. like, Darren, is that Norman Reedus? And like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like, Norman Reedus. Sweet. So, what do you think this game is going to be about? Well, also, I'm just gonna pause it real quick. This there was something. It was like Metal Gear Solid one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like you know. I don't know whether they're like <laughs> angels or you know whatever they are, but all the different yeah are just like psycho mantis like five times yeah yeah could be um, I think I see I I don't even know what I want to think it is because he, like I don't know if you follow him on Twitter and he was talking about it because mm-hmm. he said like there's a philosophy or I don't know if it's a philosophy but he was reading something and it was like man's first weapon and tool was the stick Mm -hmm. and in games we typically use the stick to like attack or do what we need to do Mm -hmm. but there's also using the rope to like grab things and like acquire things and Mm -hmm. keep them close and stuff and you want to have the rope be like also an important tool for this game hmm. and i don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean but i mean i just like looking at his model and like what like yeah. he's got like obviously i don't know with, something's going on there's handprints yeah. scars and like he had those, a, that's like a fucking c-section scar or something. yeah those dog tags all have mathematical equations on them do they can yes. you can you actually i don't think tell you can that? see it in the trailer but someone went took the poster and, and like put zoomed in Photoshop, right the fucking... zoomed in, and it's like all these well, different like. You know the actual Hideo Kojima thing is that they like took a cl- this clip of his face here, yeah, and then like the new Kojima logo with that dude like in the spacesuit. They yeah. like zoomed in on his face, and they had like the same groove. So it's like actually yeah. Norman Reedus's face under he's, that he's, mask. He's the guy. Yeah, he's the new guy. So I don't know whether it's related to. I don't think it is. But he, I think, what he I think was... they said it wasn't at all related. Yeah, well, the the guy in the spacesuit, yeah, what. What Kojima was actually saying is that that guy in the spacesuit, they're like, oh, is it Norman Reedus, blah, blah, blah. And they did like this big speculation thing yeah. and they like kind of compared it and it's like, wow, that pretty much looks exactly like what Norman Reedus looks like. Yeah. But 
apparently Kojima was like, well, that's supposed to be the everyman. That's just everybody. Yeah. It doesn't stand for anyone. It's nobody in there. It's just, yeah. that's just everybody. It's you, it's me, it's everybody. Yeah, exactly. Which I think is pretty neat. Uh, he's kind of taking a stance where it sounds like he wants to make this company really for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't think Death Stranding is going to be coming out anytime soon. No. It's going to be I next think it's... year. I think sure. it's still a couple years. Maybe, yeah, two, 2018. Two, three years. But he, he has really long production cycles, too. Yeah. Because he really likes to perfect his game. Like, yes. think about how long it took from... Well, when did it come out? Final... Uh, sorry, Metal Gear Solid to Metal Gear Solid 2. Was that um, 7? 98. Mel, Metal Gear 1... Mm-hmm. Or Metal Gear Solid 1 to 2 was 98 to 2001. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Three yeah. years. Were they pushing him for a sequel, or did he just like was he already de- developing? Um, I think well, he I think he decided to make a sequel. Mm. I don't know. And then I, three, I, I don't know. Was exactly. late two thousand, wasn't it? Mill Your Solid Three was, was that two thousand and four. Four really? Fuck. Well, that's, um, yeah. Yeah, two thousand four, but the subsistence was two thousand six. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, that's still not late two thousand. That's I don't know. I th- always thought his the production time in between metal gears maybe it's because i was so impatient with the metal gear game so it felt like it was a lot longer well yeah and i guess for me it was really five was like the big one yeah well they they announced um ground zeros and then they did the the phantom pain teaser yeah and it was like another year before they confirmed it but he was but, popping out Metal Gear games for the PSP. Like he did like four because he did yeah. the two acid ones, and then he did two acid, and then he did portable, portable ops, and uh, and that was Peace like Walker. every second year, I think, or maybe I don't know. He was pumping out games like maybe my production cycle. Was, I, I you know. know what? I don't know if he did acid. He yeah, I he think, might not. I think have. it was. It was I think a, it was a different company did yeah. acid, but he definitely did portable ops mm-hmm. and Peace Walker. There, yeah, he took a break there. Yeah. Well, no, he just, he did, like, he did 1, 2, 3, 4, and then he did the Portable Ops and, and uh, well, I think, Peace Walker. I think Peace Walker came out after 4. Yeah. I Was think. Portable Ops in between 3 and 4? Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe his... I, I, I haven't played Portable Ops. So. Maybe his production cycle isn't as long as I thought it was. But yeah, we're just impatient. Yeah, just that's impatient. A, because they the games are, I don't know, they're so fucking good. Yeah. But, you know, it's really nice to see he looks a lot happier um yeah. being in this setting because it's his game right he doesn't have to worry about someone looming over his shoulder being like make another metal gear game yeah. because he can't and finally he can just be like okay the shackles are fucking have been cut i'm, I'm free yeah he's a free man and he can well, finally that's why make... he's only handcuffed on one hand oh there, there you go there symbolism. you go um, <laughs> but uh i was reading and he was saying his one of his goals with this game is to make it a new genre Really, just to like genre just make breaking. something, yes, yeah. Because like with Metal Gear, like Metal Gear first one, yeah, was oh, it, yeah, it would it was like there's nothing now like there's it. a stealth action genre of yeah. games, like, yeah, and that was the, the first start. one, yeah, yeah. He's like that's where it starts. That's what it all comes back to. And now he's just like I want to make something that's not mm-hmm. it, not an existing genre, like think about like redefine genre i don't know so like that but just like coming back to what you think the concept of this game is just this is really really simplistic mm-hmm. but i actually think that it's about norman reedus he's death personified that's... and that's why everything is dead around him and these are like the archangels or whatever and they've um what is it what do they call it when they banish, they banished him to Earth or whatever. Exile him. Exiled him, yeah. And, yeah, I think that's, maybe that's not what the game is about, but I yeah. feel like that's kind that's, of what's hinting at That here. is a really, really interesting interpretation that, like, I had never even thought of at all. Yeah, I don't know, I just, it's, it's just what I see. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it. It takes the title and it's very like on point with what that is, you know, because it's like, hey, death is stranded. We're yeah. Stranding death. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but I was reading another thing Kojima, uh, Kojima was talking about mm-hmm. and like um, I can't remember if it's called actually land stranding or if it is actually called death stranding. Mm. But it's like whales like this. Mm-hmm. They beach themselves like on purpose. 
Oh. Or they try to save, a, they think there's a whale that's been beached that they want to save, and then they in turn also beach and die. Yeah, trying to save the other whale. Yeah. Um, actually, with all these fish, now that you mention that, there has been this thing that happens with sardines. They, they school, right? So they're yeah. all, and they kind of follow one another. And it happens, um, not f- very frequently, but it does happen from time to time, where they, like, school in an area that's really small. Yeah. And then they run out of oxygen because there's so many packed into them into this small area, and there'll just be, like, millions of them dead. Like, yeah. Everywhere. And it just, like, coats the sea. And that's kind of what the, the, the fish around the outside there kind of remind me of, too. So maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's, this is just all symbolism, and it has actually nothing to do. Yeah, with the game well, at they all. they said there's tons of hints to what the game hidden is. things in this trailer, and like, man, I I love conspiracy theories about this sort of shit. Like, yeah, this, like, it's like just because like I'm I'm not one to pull like crazy shit on my ass. Yeah, but I know a lot of people can, and that fascinates me. That yeah, that they can like, just there's yeah. Just, like just seeing this will instantly build a community of people that want to know what this game is about yeah and the same thing with like the phantom pain trailer and stuff like that it was like what is this like we have to you know dig deep and try to figure out what the fuck's going on Mm -hmm. so well yeah that's my prediction for it i don't really know what it's about i i I couldn't even guess yeah i something science (laughs) just science science related yeah. yeah It will just yeah, just science. Yeah, but uh, no, I'm I I can't wait to hear more about this game. Yeah, but I really want to know what its production cycle is going to be too. Yeah, like I really want to you know. I heard that this trailer alone took two and a half months. Wow. So actually, when he revealed the trailer as well, he said that this was all running in real time. Yeah. In game, so this is the e- game in game th- engine right everything here. Everything that they showed. Everything Sony showed at E3 was on the original iteration of PlayStation 4. Not PlayStation 4 Neo. Everything was original PlayStation 4. Which is 4. pretty amazing. Yes, absolutely. So that's really good to hear that like yeah. early adopters aren't totally fucked on this yeah, stuff. Yeah, and that, yeah that's, totally. That's all the VR stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. So that's really good to hear because yeah. there's definitely speculation that the Neo was designed like to actually handle vr but now that i know it's like capable the system is capable of doing vr on its own in the yeah. original iteration yeah. yeah that's fantastic yeah it is it so. really really it is um i as previously stated i'm not a big vr guy i don't know it just never really it's never really just hit me like oh i'm so interested in trying vr out. i'm just kind of like you know yeah. maybe one day i'll try it out but that's that's kind of how i feel too I but at like the same time, the like, yeah, I, <laughs> like, that's kind of my thing too, is just like, it's like the, it's the Wii all over again. They yeah. want you to yeah. do, like, do stuff. But yeah. that said, I do want to, like, I actively do want to try VR because yeah. everyone that's tried it has been like, this is, like, yeah. nuts. There, my, yeah, there have been a lot of people who say that, holy fuck, this is really good. Yeah, and not just for, like, games and stuff, like, my buddy does like he works he does like color correction and Mm -hmm. stuff like that Mm -hmm. and he was this guy showed him i don't know if it was like a vr film or if it was well i would assume it would be because it was a (laughs) vr but like he strapped a like oculus rift to himself and he's just like fuck like whoa yeah so mind blown yeah but yeah so was there anything else that you know what? that I missed during E3 that maybe I, we I'm could... gonna go through this list that we I don't found. have to we don't have to pull up a trailer or anything. But we, we can, can just can... keep it on Norman Reese's. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool. I with didn't that. really write too much down. Um, I just you did know we what? talk about Crash? We didn't talk. about We haven't Crash. talked about Crash. I found I just found this all the announcements in one place. Nice. So I'm just going through. Oh, you know what? Let's briefly talk about Zelda. Just briefly, okay, let's do because it. I don't really have much to say about it. The trailer, to me, didn't look good. It looked, it, you know what? They it was a gameplay trailer, and it looked really clunky to me because obviously they're trying like something new yeah. and they're they're trying an open world Zelda. Yeah. And to me, it looked really clunky, and it just the animations weren't fluid. And yeah, 
I don't know, things just look strange, and uh, I'm not that excited for it. I think I'll try it. Yeah. But I'm not that super excited for it. Also, the E3, was it like 2014 when they first kind of brought that whole Zelda thing out? Um, well, they... That new, when they showed like the new game? I I think it was, yeah, I was think it, it was. 2014? And then last year they are just like, we don't Here it is it. again, yeah. Yeah, it's the same um, thing. The 2014 trailer looked better than the one that they showed us of the actual in-game play. Yeah. Yeah. But I, the actual I, that's game also trailer. probably like alpha footage. Yeah, the alpha footage looked fucking spectacular. So. And I don't know, just to me, I, and it's for the Wii U. Yeah. And I can't imagine playing that fucking Zelda game on that goddamn tablet. Yeah, it'll be no, interesting. No, thanks. It'll no, be interesting to no, see because just... it's it's Wii U and NX. So and we they still... haven't shown anything for the exactly, NX. Exactly, that's so the thing. We don't. What know, is it like? We don't know how it's gonna work across both those because we don't. Is like is the NX also gonna have a fucking big tablet again? Who fucking knows? Like, but you know what? I I am I am interested in it because of the open world aspect. Yeah. There's voice acting now. Yeah. That's well, interesting. Yeah. And like. I mean, I wouldn't be such a big deal if it wasn't a series that's, like, over 30 years old now. Yeah, yeah. Or 30 years old, I guess, this year. Yeah. And that, like, now they're like, hey, let's put some actual talking in there instead of, or, yeah, hey, yeah, listen. Yeah, or, yeah. or just, know. like, grunts and groans or yeah. whatever. So that'd be yeah. interesting. And I, they, they talked about how they're going to, like, this is kind of, like, a world where there's, like, starting to have technology yeah it. yeah which is interesting to me because of like the origins of zelda yeah because the triforce was supposed to be computer chips oh really yeah i didn't it, know that it was supposed to be like com- hmm. computer chips that like that you piece link, together yeah like... link you from because link was supposed to be a link between the like fantasy past to like the technological future oh really so yeah I read that somewhere, and I, huh. I, I don't know if that was for the first in the game Hyrule Historia. or the second one, but yeah, the Triforce was supposed to be like computer chip pieces that you piece together, and it like, hmm. yeah, science is up the place. Science, I but, didn't know. So I'm, I'm kind of interested. Like, yeah. I, I'll, I'm obviously like, I'm not buying Wii U, and, and, <laughs> and I'm not because I know <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like with Xbox. It's like if I really want an Xbox One. Project Scorpio is coming out next year. If it's cheap. If it's yeah. cheap, like, I'll yeah. go for it. Wii U is like, hey, I was thinking about it, and they're like, hey, NX. What's this NX? And then last year when they announced uh, Dragon Quest fourteen, Or is it Dragon Quest fourteen? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. It was, I don't pay attention to any of the Nintendo stuff, truthfully. Um, was it? Well, it was a Square Enix. At oh. Square Enix conference. But they announced it for... Uh, PS4, mm-hmm. I think it was PS4, Wii U, and NX. Okay. And this was, like, before Nintendo... I think it was before Nintendo had actually acknowledged NX was a thing. Hmm. So it was just, like, at that point, of like, well, I'm not buying a fucking Wii U. Like, yeah. I, like I like Mario yeah. Maker, but I'm not going to uh, spend, like, 300 bucks to get Mario Maker. Yeah. You know, the thing about the Wii U is that there are very few games that I actually own for it. Mm-hmm. And there are very few games that I actually want to sit down and play on it. Yeah. Very few. For and me, it's, it would be more of a get everything from all the other Nintendo consoles that I do That's don't have, really what you know? it's become because I can get things like earthbound for, yeah, what is it? 13 or $14 or, or no, I think it's cheaper than that. I don't know. Seven or something. And I can get things like F Zero, and like I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, I don't have exactly. to order them. I don't have to pay out my fucking ass yeah, just to get like... a, a cartridge. Like I can buy these games that are classics. They have not taken fucking. They didn't really grasp it enough to just be like, yes, now I can get like such a huge catalog of Nintendo yeah. games. And the physical copies of those games do not deteriorate in value at all. Yeah, like no diminishing value. Like yeah, the, the value just increases on those mm-hmm. physical copies and they're like we don't want to put them on our newer con yeah. for whatever fucking reason it's the same well i think back in the day there was a lot of licensing issues that they could just get around yeah but now like if um playstation wants to put a uh, a playstation one classic 
mm-hmm. on the PlayStation Network. I think there's a lot of licensing issues that they have to get through yeah. to actually put it on uh, the network because I know one of them is Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Legends. They put it on mm-hmm. the network, but they had to go through Capcom and they had to go through because of licensing because of their character. Yeah. Then they had to go through like a pop company. Because there was pop machines, and it's, like, an actual oh, pop in Japan. Okay. And they had to, like, get the licensing from them. And, like, that's why it took so long to, for them to get it up. But I don't understand, because all of the Nintendo ones are first-party... They're, they're pretty much first-party developed. Yeah. They have to be licensed by Nintendo for them to actually be a Nintendo game. Yeah, exactly. And there's no reason for them to not just put up all their games. But they just... I don't know. They, they have such a huge opportunity to make so much money from yeah. having this huge catalog of games but they maybe i don't know like the n64 one there's like 10 yeah they and they're really, like 30 dollars really like, yeah like fuck yeah i don't know i think just 30 a, bucks for super mario 64 yeah just a huge again. missed opportunity yeah and so. i don't know that this it's we bought that i bought that wii u for christmas for oh god i can't remember how many years ago now but like it just sits there yeah. It's plugged in, but it just sits there. I think it's the same thing as like 500 or 550 million of the Wii's. Because like that was like 100 million sales. Thing. Yeah. And like lots of people got it because like, oh, Wii Sports. And there's this thing. And then yeah. it just like collects dust for the rest of his It existence. does. It really does. So, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. They, they need. Their handhelds are fucking amazing though. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much all they got going yeah. for. It. Anyway, we, we, we got off the rails there about Zelda and shit. Okay. But I, I, I just, quick, I'm just going to mention Crash. Um, really excited that they're, he said it, they're remastering them from the ground up. Yeah. Which to me is fucking awesome. Yeah, Crash totally. 1, 2, and 3. Because uh, now I don't feel bad so about they... having not stolen Crash 1 and 2 from my yeah film lounge yeah at university yeah super excited for that i think it's gonna be fucking awesome yeah they uh, uh, the only thing that they really had to show though was the skylanders thing yeah and i could give two shits about skylanders. yeah I, i'm not i'm not into the whole toy collecting game thing and i guess it's really skylanders at this point because amiibos aren't actually like you don't plug in an amiibo and then yeah you know game yeah disney infinity is done so is it really? Yeah, it's oh, done. They, I didn't know that. They, they, it's not a thing anymore. It's over. Yeah. Um, I, you know what? Actually, <laughs> Amiibos are really the only thing that I think Nintendo has done that I actually enjoy. Yeah. Because I have a few Amiibos laying around, and I'm like, these are fucking awesome. They yeah. look great. And, like, they, but... they, they add stuff to the game, but yeah. it's not like you pop on a guy and it's like, hey, you're... Well, I guess that might be it for Smash. I think Smash does. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's pretty much all Smash related. Yeah. Mario Party and now Yoshi's Woolly World. You can get skins. Like you get yeah, Yoshi skins. Yeah. But there's not much to it. Yeah. But I, I just like them because they're action figures. I just yeah. like collecting them. I, I really want the Shovel Knight one. Yeah, it's awesome. Shovel Knight. Yeah. And like if you have Shovel Knight on Wii U, if you pop the Amiibo on Yeah, you can, you can play two player, right? Yeah. That's, Which that's is cool. fucking awesome. Uh, Bring that to every other iteration of yeah shovel knight please yeah yeah all right well let's get on you got a list so i i have the list of announcements starting from ea and working our way through like the conferences yeah okay like that yeah so ea maybe just pick out a few of the big ones yeah the the ones that interest me because i can see some of those lists are pretty uh Uh, playstation large and spectrum this is playstation holy jesus yeah okay yeah just can you scroll it real quick So it starts. Oh, oh well, this there you go. Uh, oh, perfect. Oh, we okay. got the green Let's screen, see. but whatever. Uh, uh, <laughs> this That's is just so PlayStation. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there it ends. Yeah. So that was like what four swipes? No. Yeah. Well, four shitty swipes. Yeah. But. Well, it would have been like two. The one good. Two swipes. good ones. <laughs> two good ones. Um. So let's see. EA. The one thing I was really keen on was that uh, it's, it's either Fee or Fay. Or something like that. It's like hmm. it's kind of part of their like, I guess indie initiative that they started last year with Unravel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where it's kind of like you know they pick up a game to publish and really get yeah. its name out there and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. It had a cool art style. I'm really interested to see more about it because it's like you kind of play like this bat sort of thing oh. in this like purpley world. I guess. I think I saw something about that. 
it looked it looked pretty neat, and I want to see I want to see more from it because I think it could be cool. Yeah. Uh, Bethesda, uh, Elder Scrolls Origins or Elder Scrolls Legends. Legends. I I'm interested in that because I am a fan of card games like yeah Magic and Hearthstone, and yeah. I signed up I signed up to hopefully be in the beta for that. We haven't played Magic in a long time. No, dude, I haven't played Magic in like months. Yeah, I have. I that this is the last thing that I bought, and like I don't know if you can see it. Is but... that uh, Shadows of uh, in the Strad? Yeah, Innistrad? yeah, Innistrad? that's still yeah. rough crap. No, yeah, I, 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 I haven't bought any of that set This yet. This set was all fucking Eldrazi shit, and I don't want to play Eldrazi. Yeah. Anyway, it's um, getting a little nerdy here. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah Elder Scrolls Legends, that should be cool. Uh, I didn't know I wanted Skyrim Special Edition until I saw it. Yeah. And then I was like, ah! And then... I, think, I think, yeah, when it comes out, I might get it. Just yeah. depending. Um, I was yeah. I was happy that they announced Quake Champions. Yeah. Because I think it's cool that like it's bring back all their ips mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think well i don't think they did wolfenstein i think it was machine games did it but it was sure. still like mm-hmm. they're bringing it back yeah, it's awesome that they're doom, bringing back all these doom everyone's like this game rules and yeah. i'm totally buying it as soon as i'm done work for the <laughs> yeah it's um, easy to have a little free time but i don't know if you heard um because they did like a whole like dos intro oh yeah yeah i it. saw that yeah did you see that they teased a new wolfenstein game no. Was it in the code? Yeah, it was in the code. It was like, because the code was all like game releases. It was like Commander Keen mm-hmm. and then Doom and Doom 2 and like all yeah. the, the whole list and Wolfenstein, like their actual like release dates. But then there was like underneath the Old Blood, which was like the last Wolfenstein, like it was kind of like a DLC spin off sort of deal. Mm-hmm. But um, underneath that was, it said the new Colossus and then it was just like dot, 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 dot. Oh. instead of like an actual date yeah and someone just happened to catch that while the conference is going because everyone else is kind of like oh this is cool yeah. yeah no one notices it and then like afterwards like hey did you guys see did this see, and everyone's like this? what the fuck oh my god so it was just like announcement and an announcement sort of yeah a little it, tease yeah it was um, just a tease dishonored 2 yeah yeah you know what? I still need to because I played through quite a bit of Dishonored. Yeah. I still need to finish it. I think I'd, I'd rather just restart it than start again from yeah, where you, I played. Because yeah. I don't know. I just I I couldn't get into it. I don't know when I started it. Something had just come out, and I was like, "Oh, I'll just I'll just play through Dishonored, then I'll start this new game." But I can't remember what the fuck it was. But I started playing it, and then I just I just couldn't really dig into it yeah. it didn't you know you know when it doesn't there's certain it games that just grab you right off the hop yeah they yeah. The, you start playing a game and it just sinks its teeth in and you're like i gotta fucking play this game yeah that game just didn't do it for me no i but you know what the fucking mission i loved it when it was the mission where you have to like poison the one dude with the drink and like or no the guy tries to poison him and then you can like switch it so they both get poisoned and they yeah. both die fucking love that mission yeah that's like it's fairly early on it's like one of the first missions that you go on a lot of dishonored's like assassination missions are straight up like the dark brotherhood yeah yeah elder scrolls pretty much because it's just like these crazy cool elaborate yeah ways to kill people and stuff yeah it's pretty neat but uh yeah. yeah, I can't and, wait for two. Yeah. Two looks it rad. Looks, it looks pretty sweet. It, it's the I, little girl, is it not? That that's in the is. first game. Yeah, she's like it's very reminiscent of Bioshock. Yeah, like it's pretty much the same deal. Kind of, but I I like that they have like they're very distinct in their like I guess opening abilities and stuff mm, like that. Mm-hmm. So it's just gonna be like it's and because you can pick either Corvo or oh, I can't remember. Her name. I, I want to say something like Elizabeth or something like yeah, that, but I, I think it is Elizabeth or Emily. I think it might be Emily. Yeah, I think but, it's um, Emily. You like, you can pick one or the other right mm-hmm. off the hop, and which is pretty awesome. So I think like it's gonna be like Resident Evil, where it's just like you pick one, that's who, yeah, you play that's who you play through. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's cool because like I'm gonna want to play through both because like. I want to see like Corvo. I think it's like yeah. twenty five years later or something like that. Oh, really? Or so twenty just all or something old like that. And grizzled. Yeah, so it's just like older Corvo. Yeah, doing that, and then like the princess or whatever, and her sweet new abilities. Yeah, she can blink and all that. Yeah, stuff. like cool. It's gonna be awesome. So, yeah. so that's that. Um, oh, and pray. That announcement. I don't think I saw anything for because. Prey. Uh, let me preface this. I haven't played the first Prey. Mm-hmm. I saw um, 
Ray Narvaez Jr. stream at one time. Mm -hmm. Um, And, like, it looked pretty cool. And then they were, like, I remember buying something. It might have actually been Dishonored. Had, like, a slip for Prey 2 Mm. that eventually got canceled. And so then they, like, show this, start showing this trailer, and it's, like, Space Groundhog's Day or Future Groundhog's Day sort of deal. Okay. And it's just, like, weird fucking shadow monster shit going on and then it was just like <gasps> oh i and did it was see like, something about and that and then it's yeah. like pray and i was like what yeah and i was just kind of like something about that i was kind of not expecting that just because of the state of what happened with pray 2 mm. it was just like mm-hmm. they had this game and it looked like it was pretty well done and it looked and cool then they and then they it. scrapped it mm. and then it's just like yeah pray it's really so that's kind of neat um so the one thing big takeaway from Microsoft's that I got afterwards, I didn't watch any of it. I was watching like streams or just like old or the yeah. YouTube clips, well, and the, they were like some of them were like eleven hours long. Yeah, and I just kind of skimmed through it, watching an interview with Kojima, and then it was like here's the Microsoft one, and I was kind of like, yeah. Yeah. So the two big things. Oh, Titanfall, but that's cross platform, yeah. so it's kind I, of like. As, I, I was interested in the first one. I thought it was really cool looking, but yeah. I just I didn't. It's it's something I'd like to play, but it's not like hey, yeah. Titanfall, oh, man, I gotta play it. You yeah, know, yeah, I agree. Um, so anyway, sorry. We Happy Few is a game that's coming out that mm-hmm. I'm interested in because it looks that. kind of um like it almost has like a Bioshocky feel to it. Not like I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's more aesthetically than like gameplay wise. But it's kind of like you're in like a uh, a alternate '60s England. Oh, everyone's like got these like face paintings and they're all smiling and they have this pill called Joy. Oh, and that kind of remind makes me think of like you know um, Aldo Huxley or George Orwell yeah. story where they're you know rock soma or something like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. And so this guy like stops taking his Joy mm-hmm. and he goes to this party and like. They're like, hey, we got this pinata, and they hit it, and then blood shoots out of it, and you're like, what? And then, like, they start hitting it again, and then you look at it again, and it's like this big dead rat. Oh. And, and they're, like, pulling out, like, the guts, and like, Jesus. hey, the Look candy. at all the candy, and they're like, And then you're just oh like, what the fuck? And they're like, he didn't take his joy. Oh, my God. And then, like, the fucking joy police come after <laughs> you. It's like 1984. Yeah, and so, like, it's, it's coming to early access, and... Uh, Xbox One game preview, which is basically its early access. Mm. But I'm really interested to see where that game's gonna go because hmm. I I heard about it before this E3. Yeah, and I was really interested to see I what it is. I haven't heard about it, but that sounds and pretty neat. It looks pretty neat. Um, and the other thing from Xbox is that there's gonna be a lot more cross platform with PC stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's like the Xbox Play Anywhere initiative or that's, something like that. It's that's, that's I don't know. I don't know why these things haven't taken place sooner. Yeah. But I think um, that's that's Dead cool. Rising 4. Dead Rising 4. Yeah. That I'm really the the one thing that I really am disappointed why I, I just can't get an Xbox one. That's I just it's yeah. not it's not in my budget, and it's not. There's no reason for me to buy an Xbox One for Dead Rising Three and Dead Rising Four. There's no reason for it. Yeah. Like, I I feel like I'm missing out because I really enjoy the other two Dead Rising games, mm. but I'm not gonna pick up an Xbox One just for that. Yeah. Well. But uh, it's funny you mention that. It's a one year timed exclusive Microsoft. Platforms. Oh, thank fucking god! <laughs> I really, really want to fucking play and Dead that, Rising. And that that was really interesting. I didn't see that. It's it's the very last thing on here. Oh really? But I I had heard about it before. So fuck that. Yeah, I, I'm okay. Totally redeemed. I'm yeah. Fucking well, the super one thing now. the one thing I'm looking at here that I would be really interested to play Crackdown Three. Do you ever I, play Crackdown? No, no. It's basically like you're a super cop and you just fucking do mayhem. Nice. And I had a lot of fun with the first one. Yeah. And Crackdown Three, just the alpha stuff, or I think it was pre alpha stuff. Uh-huh. Matt showed me a trailer. Mm-hmm. I was like, man. It's like a completely destructible world and stuff. Nice. It's huge and like, it's gonna be just batshit crazy. Nice. And like, I think that'd be like that'd be like the one big thing. Mm-hmm. I think for me that comes out of this cross-platform Xbox Play Anywhere yeah. thing. Nice. Then I'm like, yes, I'm down for that. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, Ubisoft, the South Park game. Yeah, be cool. I I I didn't play Stick of Truth. 
and I probably I won't play either. this. I probably won't play this one. I, I it could be cool. I don't really have much to say about it honestly. I it looked like it would have been a great South Park movie or something like that's what it just to me. I was like, oh, I really want to know what happens in it because it looks like it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Well, I'll play Stick of Truth this summer. I'll, I'll let you know. All right, sure, um, sure. Um, another thing, uh, this open world action sports game called Steep, and it's like didn't hear anything about it's this. It's basically you just go do fucking like snowboarding and oh really and like paragliding. And just whatever. do whatever. It's like and fucking like, a, like in that? a mountain pilot ship. wings or whatever the fuck it's called. Do you know what pilot wings? I know is? what pilot. Yeah. I never played it, but I know yeah. what it is. That's what it See, reminds me of. Yeah. I think that's cool. I think yeah, that's kind of cool. neat. Um, another thing, there's a sequel. I told you how I like the game Grow Home. Did I tell you about mm-hmm. that game at all? Mm-hmm. There's a sequel coming out. And mm-hmm. I'm excited for that because I really like Grow Home. I thought it was like a cute little like five-hour weird hmm. indie-esque game, I guess. Yeah, I've never... I've, I don't think I've seen much on Grow Home. It was... It's like it's on... Uh, it was free on PlayStation at one point. Were you like, was that the flower petal ones? Yeah. Yeah. Like you're this little robot dude and you, yeah. you ba- like your ship's up top, like yeah. in the atmosphere and you yeah. have to like grow this plant like all yeah. the way up and there's islands and stuff in the sky yeah. you get okay. to explore and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. It was really cool. I really liked it. Nice. And I'm, so I'm really glad to hear that there's going to be a sequel. Nice. And the other thing, last thing mm-hmm. from Ubisoft that I want to mm-hmm. bring up, it's not really news or anything. Beyond Good and Evil 2, still on the way. Hey, so yeah, yep. I mean, um, I it is, still need to is. play the first one. It's so good. Yeah, I got it for free. Okay. It was it was for free the one month on PlayStation Plus, it's so good. I downloaded it. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing it actually, because a lot of people have told me, yeah, you yourself as well have said that it's really I, fucking good. Yeah, just like, especially like from a narrative standpoint, I yeah. think it's, I think it's got a cool story. I think that's. That's yeah. a lot of the reason why I really like that game. So, mm-hmm. Actually, you know, um, f- uh, there are a few things that that have come up recently that have really strong female leads. Yeah, like um, Horizon. Yeah, and I'm really cool with that. And, uh, I, you know, Beyond Good and Evil has a strong female protagonist. I think it's, like, fucking awesome that that, that that's happening now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not like all SJW or anything like this, yeah. but I, when I was watching the horizon zero dawn, I was like, fuck yeah, this woman looks badass. And yeah. I, I yeah, enjoy totally. that. And like tomb Raider and shit like that. She's come back in a big way. I don't yeah, know. She's not just like some yeah. big titty. Yeah. Adventure. Yeah, exactly. She looks she's cool. A, she's and, a normal titty. Adventure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she's badass too. Right. Yeah, exactly. She, yeah. Um, but, uh, just, as a point to that, because uh, I did I yeah I, I don't know if you've watched it yet, Princess Mononoke. No, I no, haven't. She's like yeah, it's like one of my favorite movies of all time, and she there's a strong female protagonist, and that's what yeah. it reminded me of when I was watching that Horizon Zero Dawn. I was like, fuck, she she's a badass bitch, and mm. like yeah, this is what it reminded me of. I'm like, it's it's good to see that because I'm tired of staring at sweaty man ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's totally a fair point. Yeah, I mean for me, it's like I <laughs> it's I. Like, it's I I couldn't give a fuck if it was you're playing a fucking yeah, a couldn't. purple dude with nine dicks and eight vaginas, you know. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me, yeah. but I know people do care about it. Yeah. And so I am happy that It's good to see, yeah. really. Um It just when I was saying sweaty man ass just reminds me of Metal Gear Two. Or you when, just look at the fucking Yeah, there's that too, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> sweaty norman reedus ass but metal gear 2 like snake is in that fucking suit and like when he's crawling on the ground you can like zoom in yeah oh boy that's yeah Yeah. it's a sight to behold that thing uh anyway let's move along okay so So is this starting with sony we're starting with sony i'm trying to pick out the okay i'm picking out like i'll say four things maybe i'm I'm starting it the last guardian october 25th that's exactly what i was gonna say october 25th i got chills when i saw that day I was yeah. like, <gasps> it has a date Holy now. Fuck. It doesn't look as good as its original trailer back in twenty yeah two thousand nine. I don't know what the Something fuck. Like what that. was the original day? I think I it was twenty. I think it's been twenty eleven. No, I think it's been about seven years. Has it? I think it has. Far too long. Yeah. It looked amazing back then because what's his name was working on it. I don't remember his fucking name. Uh, Fumito Ueda. Uh, yes, I believe. Yes, I think. Ueda. Well, he's still working on it. He's just not. He doesn't work. He doesn't, his, he's not. Oh. He's he's contract okay. now. Okay. Because he's not part of okay. Sony anymore. Well, it's a part of the Trico series. 
Yes. It's, and that's what um, the fucking yeah thing is. This is named. Trico. Yeah. Trico. Yeah. That's uh, as far as I know. I think maybe that's what the the community is calling it, but I think he might have mentioned Trico or something. Yeah. I don't know. That um, I know that term, and that's why because it's part of the trilogy of games. Yeah. Um, I recently just played through Ico and Ico Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. I always and, call it Ico just because of Mega Sixty Four. Yeah. But everyone else calls it Eco, and I'm just like. I can't yeah I can't sorry Rocco. yeah yeah <laughs> Rocco yeah. set that up for me yeah but i recently played through them and they're uh they're not supposed to be related in any like they're supposed to be related but it's like Maybe a like different time thematically related. yeah but really it, i played through them and i was like it, there's got there's a connection here like yeah. it's the same fucking girl like it, mm. it feels like the same girl and like the kid with the horns is like that's they're on the island of the Colossi, like, yeah. after the events of Shadow of the Colossus took place, and, like, these kids get banished, the kids with horns or whatever, mm-hmm. because they're, like, Colossi spawn, or whatever yeah. it is. I don't know what the themes are, but that's, I don't know, I felt like they were connected in some way. Yeah. But anyway, um, I'm super pumped for The Last Guardian. Yeah. October should be, 25th. Should be cool. Um, this year. It's just after my birthday, too, so. This year. Um, Detroit. Oh I'm yeah, kind of, I saw that. I'm. I don't like its title though. Why in the fuck is it called Detroit? Because it takes place in Detroit, I guess. But I don't know. Subtitle, become human. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's. I, I. I haven't played a David Cage <sighs> game, but at the same time, we it, have to play Heavy Rain. Yeah, we do. Jason. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I. We do. We we have to play um, that game. But I, I'm interested just because like, it showed like that whole trailer was kind of based around one. In like one, yeah, one point scenario. in the game, and like the amount of different ways and mm-hmm. outcomes, mm-hmm. I I thought that was really cool. That's what his games are like, though, man. Yeah, They're fucking. But there was like seven or eight different oh there was, outcomes. Yeah. I was like, man, like... imagine it's like endless combinations, you know? Yeah. But I really think we should do a playthrough of Heavy Rain. I'm absolutely down for that. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking fun. Um, the last one that I did, I fucked up horribly, and the one dude that I actually like, and then he died, and I was uh, like, "Oh!" I watched uh, Pro Jared's playthrough because he doesn't give a fuck about yeah, he just, Cage. Yeah, yeah. So he just tried to be like the worst dad possible. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> um. So the next thing, he, he like beat the shit out of his kids or something like with the sword fight, and he like, Psh! yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> um. The uh. next thing, it was just a cinematic trailer, mm-hmm. and there's no official title for it mm-hmm. right now. It's just called Spider-Man PS4 right now. Mm, yeah. But there's a fucking Spider-Man game being made by Insomniac. The people that make Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. And, like, the last Ratchet and Clank looked, fuck. You know, I need mm. to fucking pick up that game. And it's cheap, too. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a budget a, title. Fuck. And Man. Like, it looked so fucking good. I don't know what engine or what the lighting, the... F- yeah fucking characters I, holy shit yeah i don't know it looked like a fucking pixar movie it, like it did i don't Straight know what up. they're doing but they're doing it right um and that's really oh indigo prophecy now we're talking about david oh. cage what is it is it just a remake or is it just it's, releasing it's, it it's uh no it's just a ps2 to ps4 oh type deal oh okay well so that's that's the thing we're talking about david cage i i'll probably get it yeah there's a whole <laughs> section on persona didn't watch a damn thing, and I don't know anything about Persona I don't at all. Either. And I, I probably never will, though Persona 5 looks interesting. What the fuck is going on here? All right. Um, I I was talking to some people, and they, they swear by Persona 4. Yeah. I really would like to try it. I kind of want to try Persona 3 first. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of interest in, in playing them. I don't know what it is, but I think 5 looks great. Yeah. It looks really cool, but... Don't know a single thing about them. Yeah. Um, so now we're getting into Nintendo. And for me... <laughs> Nintendo had nothing. Yeah. They had was, like a 20-minute fucking Zelda thing and then like a 20-minute... There's a Monster Hunter Generations demo June Oh, 30th. I didn't see that. That's that's an announcement that I'm I can All right. behind. Yeah. Um, uh, Pokemon. Um, I saw a lot of shit. Was, is there like a new set of starters or something? Is that what that was all about? Probably. Or were they just know. previewing? I, don't, I, don't I think really they were just. Pokemon I think they were just much. previewing new Pokemon. Um, I've played every generation of Pokemon, and I've only played it to the credits. So I beat the game and then I just turned it off. Yeah. Because uh, I really, really went ham with the first two, and I was in that age group. 
Then after that, I felt like there was just too many Pokemon. I don't know any of these Pokemon. Yeah. Maybe I'm just the old man. I, think I am an old man. Yeah. But I'm just kind of like, fuck it. I don't really care anymore. I'm just going to play it, see what the new cool Pokemon are. I like the owl. Yeah, I do. That's who I'm going to fucking play. Yeah. I'm going to get the, the bat version. Lunala, I think the it's, that's Pokemon I Moon. It. Pokemon I've only seen Moon. like the three, the, the fucking seal... The cat. Yeah, the seal looks fucking stupid. I think everyone hates the seal. Yeah. I think it looks fucking stupid. Is it like Poplio or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. I think, is it Howlet or something? I think it's Howlet, yeah. Yeah, Howlet is the owl. Going with him, he's a leaf owl, which is fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, and Got then... A fucking bow tie. Yeah! How cool yeah, is that? Yeah. And uh, Lunala is, the, that's, so that's Pokemon Moon. He's like, okay. he's like a big bat moon thing, which looks fucking awesome. And that's definitely what I'm going with. And that's probably about as far as I'm going to get with Pokemon. Yeah. And I think Nintendo is, I think they, they I don't want to say they fucked up, but they just, they didn't have anything ready. They don't have anything. Yeah. They just don't. Well, they, they, they do their fucking directs throughout the year. Yeah. And they, ca I think they care more about that than they yeah. do E3. Yeah. E3 isn't really their big thing i don't know did they they had a pretty big announcement they had some, some shit last year didn't they no maybe no. they didn't nope i don't think so the direct was smash bros and shit like that though was it not they revealed cloud and ryu was the direct um, last year maybe that I, I that was remember. was that e3 where they revealed cloud i don't think it i know i don't think it was when maybe they showed i think it was just a direct yeah and it that's was when it, the, ryu was shown at E3. Because yeah. they did the Nintendo right. World Championships. And stuff. Right, right, right. That's right, when they right, showed right. that. With Hungrybox. Yes. Yeah, and Reggie fought Hungrybox, and Hungrybox is like, for the president of this company, you fucking suck. Yeah. And yeah, Reggie's like, when you're at home making your living playing video games, I'm actually making the video games that yeah. you're playing. It was like, ooh, snap. snap. Um, so the next thing yeah. that I'm seeing for Nintendo that I didn't hear about at all, and I'm not going to click this link because I'm don't really care nintendo teases a new kind of mario a new kind of mario what does that even mean here's hoping for action rpg anyways final fantasy 15 i heard the dem the vr demo was bad mm. anyways moving on uh, okay yeah <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's right final fantasy 15 that's yeah. coming out soon isn't it september um i don't see a date but i'll say yes where is it yeah anyway yeah I kind of look forward to it, but I'm probably not going to play it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ukulele is delayed to <laughs> that's, Q1. That's what I was going to ask about was the ukulele. The, I, um, yeah. I feel bad that it's delayed. I'm kind of interested in playing it. Yeah. I, I donated the Kickstarter. I'm going nice. to get it for PS4. Nice. Um, I saw a little bit, a little bit of the, the uh, Bloodstained mm. footage. Mm. I didn't see enough to like be like, whoa, or anything. Yeah. It, was it was just, just kind of like... like I saw her like running around a ship. I was like, "This looks pretty good so yeah. far." Like, you know, graphically. Nice. I'm assuming it's like. Do they have Apple. something on it, or? Uh, it I don't think so. I think Pro Jared did like a little let's play in it, but that's mm. literally. Mm, that's all it was. Yeah. Well, I actually haven't seen it yet, but mm. I've seen like little clips. Mm. And just like the girl running around a boat. So you know. All right. That's all right. I know it's not coming out till next year, anyways. So I'm not like too worried about it at this point. Yeah. Um. What else? I saw the trailer for Call of Cthulhu before E3, and that's cool. Mm, I didn't it's, see anything about that. It's um, I think it was just a cinematic, but it just got me like really stoked because mm. it's kind of, I think it's the uh, like actually going for the Call of Cthulhu story. As, oh really? Because like the Call of Cthulhu games, there was like one or maybe a more. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. There's one for Xbox. It was Xbox on PC. And there was PC, one on yeah. PC. Uh, Who played it? Dark. Uh, Cat Icarus, I think. Was it Cat Icarus? Yeah. And they're like, because they're like in some town and they're like walking around the town and, and the all fish these... people. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I was gonna be. I think I can. Well, I almost picked it. I up think it was. On Pew... Steam. I think I watched PewDiePie play it actually. Maybe. I I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I know Cat Icarus was talking about it. And... Yeah. Maybe no, it was Cat Icarus. It was. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think I'm gonna pick it up on summer sale because nice. I was gonna pick it up before, but then I axed it because I was just like, I should just. Just, limit yeah. limit yeah. the amount of games I'm buying right now. I hear you. Yeah. Um, Vampire, or Vampire, I don't know how they want to pronounce it. It's the new game from Dauntnod, who did uh, Remember Me and Life is Strange. Okay. And it's like a horror game. That Interesting. Doing. This guy becomes a vampire at the 
outbreak of the bubonic plague. Ooh, interesting. So, uh, should be cool. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? <laughs> um, was there something called like ships something on a ship? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Yeah, the, I'm the, on a ship. The rare, the yeah, rare pirate yeah. game. Yeah, I saw a lot of people talking about that. Um, I saw a bit of it. It I, s- I, wasn't my cup of tea, but... I, I need to see a little more before I can make judgment, because it was like, what I saw was like... Yeah, it was like a still of them just zooming through this still no, or whatever. No, what I saw was like three groups of like, I don't know oh, if they were Let's yeah. Players or... Not. I think they were a part of like, I don't know, maybe or they're they just were like IGN random people, people yeah. or something yeah. like that. But they were like they did like a playthrough. Yeah, they did like a little of... playthrough where they had to like fix the boat and stuff. While yeah, they were fighting the other yeah, people. And that's right. kind of cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to see a little yeah. more. Yeah, but... I don't know. I saw it and I was kind of because it was one of the things that people were talking about. Um, I think it was this crew attack thing that I was watching, and they talked about it for a while. And they're like, "Oh, it looks cool." And yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I I don't want to say that it it gets more and more disappointing. But it makes you impatient. Yeah. Because there's a lot of games that are coming out and you're like, fuck, I just want to play them. Yeah, exactly. And I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to watch shit and like read up on it or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just like to get the game and just play it. Yeah. And not fucking be so tempted. And just, yeah, you know, for sure. Because there was um, a few people, or oh, there's actually quite a few people doing the Resident Evil the demo the demo yeah Yeah. and i have that yeah we should totally do that because yeah you know i think think it's gonna be awesome but i didn't want to watch it because i don't want to fucking know yeah i haven't watched it i well i say i haven't watched it but i read a thing and i know a little bit about it Mm. but i won't spoil it um please don't but i I don't want to know I think we should bring Matt here for that because he wanted sure. he wanted to see it. Sure, we can. And do, that could uh, be the night that we finish uh, the game. I won't spoil it here because I don't think it's it's known. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. We'll, there was actually a really good behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm gonna that. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that together. I think yeah. what I want to do is I want to cut that together and then do the actual yeah. let's play of it in another video. Okay, itself. sure. Release them like at the same time, pretty much. Yeah, but. Yeah. Just to kind of like cue it up for that. Yeah. Because man, there's so <laughs> much. I was laughing so yeah. hard watching there's that some, back. There was some good shit. Matt says some really, really yeah. great yeah. shit in that. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, it's too bad because what happened it was that the footage was corrupted or something. It just yeah, like didn't the last, record the last minutes. It was like the last 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. The audio was there, but the video just stopped. I don't know why. Yeah. That's too bad. But yeah. I mean. Sometimes Elgato has some issues. Yeah. Oh, well. But, it still works like a fucking charm. Yeah. But it, it's pretty funny how we had to actually set the, this game up. It's pretty yeah, fucking hilarious. I got... I have probably a good, like, ten minutes of footage. Oh, really? That's of awesome. Of us trying to set it up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not accounting for the two separate occasions where me and Matt left to get, like, adapters yeah, and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, it took... It took... It felt like it took hours to get the shit set up. It was probably, like, yeah, an hour. Yeah, at but. least... But it, it, was, it was it was worth it. It definitely was worth it. But we'll have to, because the file is corrupted. But yeah, it, it's it, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. But, um, I got nothing else to say about E3. Yeah, I don't really I have much. I, got, I think I've pretty much covered everything I was really excited about. Yeah, everything else is just it's, meh. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, so. I agree. Um, so, yeah. I was gonna say something. Oh. Uh, there's a new series, new Stay Rad series. We played this game a while back. I was telling you oh, that I yes. just finished editing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a really neat indie game. Watch for that when it comes up. It should be soon. It's uh, it's a short series. We've kind of blasted through the game. It only took us a couple hours. but Yeah, it was like three, yeah. three four hours. Maybe. Yeah, it didn't take very long. But uh, yeah, we just did it in one sitting, and it just took us a night to beat. And it's fun. Yeah, look forward to that. should be coming out soon. And we'll have to finish... All the other shit yeah, we, we have a to, lot of other shit. We need to finish. to finish Resident Evil and we need to finish Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation, yeah. Apparently, uh, we haven't even scratched the surface with Alien Isolation. Like we just met the alien, so. Uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think we have. 
I think we're maybe like... You know, we should just look at I think at we're maybe like a quarter done that game. Okay. Well, we're doing pretty good. We're only yeah. in the tens. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. there's... Uh, this was a pretty impromptu pod... I guess you could call it a podcast. It's a yeah. podcast. Yeah. It's f- fairly impromptu. We just started hanging and I was like, hey, do you want to do some streaming? Or like, what do you want to do? And he, he's like, well, why don't we talk about E3? Yeah. Like, All right. Well, let's watch some trailers and... Talk it's E3. Good to talk about it now while it's still pretty fresh. Yeah, so. well, it's really fresh for me because only just a few hours ago I watched the yeah the reveal trailers and I watched like a montage. It was like every epic trailer or something. I don't know. It was one of those stupid titles and it was like yeah. a half hour long. Of Try not trailers. to laugh. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, silly. But uh, but yeah, and this is our shortest podcast. It yet. has yeah, it's very short. But uh, I mean. It's, the not, next... it's not too bad to be succinct sometimes. Yes, it's true. So, uh, the next podcast we do... Will probably be Dark Souls 3. Probably be Dark Souls 3. Then the next one we're going to have Nick on again, I, I would suppose. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think Nick and... Maybe we'll see if Matt wants to yeah, join. Yeah, if he wants to join, then that's fine. We won't, we won't spoil that one, because yeah. I, I think you know what I'm thinking of. So. Yeah, yeah, great. But uh, Sounds great, gang. One, wonderful. We don't. We didn't have any beers to open with. I know this that time, was. So. We might as well just delete this podcast. Yeah, at fucking this point. garbage. So, just fucking shut it off, man. Just fucking just fucking fucking, fucking god fucking damn it. Just-